Hi, this is Chilton Webb. I'm about to give you a demonstration of Conjure and how you can use it in the classroom. I think you're going to like it. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you why I think Conjure has become the greatest teaching tool ever created. Maybe a close second. Let's begin. First off, Conjure lets you write anywhere on the desktop. All you have to do is point the cursor and start typing. Another thing you'll notice about Conjure is that it uses OS X's built-in spell checker, which means if you type start with two T's, it will let you know. The next thing Conjure lets you do is draw directly on the desktop. You just hit the space bar, and from that point on, you're in drawing mode. You can draw anywhere you want, just by moving the mouse around and clicking. Hit the space bar again to re-enter the normal mode and to move things around, scale them, resize them, what have you. If you don't like something, you can delete it. If you wish you hadn't deleted it, you can undo it. You can also add notes and stuff to other apps very easily in Conjure. For example, here's a, a series of links uh, to images on Google Image. Well, that's Alexander the Great. Pretty neat. We've got some stuff here. Uh, I already saw this one earlier. This is a pretty good link. It's to Encyclopedia Britannica. I dragged an image out of here, and it's just like the one I dragged earlier. If I wanted to, I can just double-click this, and it takes me back to the original site. You can flip between pages in Conjure, like pages in a notebook. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed this, but we've already been using this. All you have to do is swipe three fingers across, back for, uh, forward or backward on your trackpad to do it, or you can use command shift arrows left and right. Another neat feature, though, is the overview that shows you instantly all of your desktops. You can zoom in and out and see all of them in real time. One of the great things about Conjure are its amazing backdrops. We have some amazing organic backdrops that are animated. We have some actual art from professional artists and photographers. But in this version, we have a special thing just for teachers, and those, that's the classroom art. And basically, these are grids and different types of paper backdrops that you can use to explain things in class. OS 10 address book to find people. And this is a really powerful feature, especially if you keep your students' roster in your address book. Because then you can take any student, and you can drop them onto the desktop. If you do a command I for get info, it will show you all the information about them. It will show you their address, you can send them emails, start chats with them, whatever you want to do. And in addition, if you happen to have your, their parents' uh, information on your, in, a, in your address book too, you can link to that. And in fact, you can even link between different people using Conjure's unique linking system, which is command option drag. It creates a real-time link between different people so that you can basically create a visual hierarchy of who knows who and, and who is related to who. And as you can see here, it has all kinds of information about each of the people that is in your address book. One of the greatest things about Conjure is that it lets you interact with other files without actually damaging or altering the files. So you can keep notes on other files, you can keep images from other files, and you can even mark them up. And in this case, I've got a painting by Vermeer and some notes about them I found online. I've kept all of this right here on this one little page. If I want to go look up where I found this original information, I double-click that link. If I want to go just look at this picture in more depth, I double-click that picture, and it will open it in preview. The new features in this version of Conjure is window opacity. It lets you draw on the desktop and interact with the desktop as you normally do, and yet have a transparent desktop so that you can see through it to other applications. And this is a strange uh, concept, but I think you'll like it. Let's see, here's a, a, here's a movie, and it's in QuickTime Player. And let's say I want to make a note about this particular scene in this movie. Well, in Conjure, all I have to do is open up my color picker and drag out, and actually option drag out, a translucent color. This will set the background of Conjure to a transparent color. Now, as you can see, I still have files. They seem to be floating here on the desktop. That's because really only the background of Conjure is transparent here. Everything else is opaque. So at this point, I want to draw a little circle around this guy and say, ah, this is the same guy as this one over here. And I'm using the line tool here to connect the two. And there you go. And when I'm done playing with the opacity of the window, all I have to do is drag back another color that happens to be opaque, and it will reset the window opacity. Here's a use for that. We can actually use the window opacity to explain not only things in other apps, but how to use other apps. So if you have students you're trying to teach how to use some other application, and you're finding it's difficult to do it, you can put it on the overhead, you can walk through steps, and then when you get to a particular part that's tough, you can open Conjure, and you can start drawing here and say things like, this is where you click in 
and then you set the color of the text. Make it a little larger here. And move our circle. There you go. When you're done, of course, you just option drag any color out of the color picker that's opaque and go on your way. Here is a neat application of that same technology to teach math. We're going to use the number chart backdrop, which is one of the new features, one of the new backdrops we added for Conjure 4.08. And I'm going to add a circle here and a circle here. And we're going to figure out the distance between them. I use the link tool to create a dynamic link between these two objects. That means that if I take one of these objects and move it around, the link follows it. One of the other neat features of the link is that it actually allows you to link and hold other objects together by moving the link. So in this case, negative 3 to 4. What's the, dis what's the distance? Well, we can pick it up and move it to 0. And now we see 0 to 7. That means it's 7 units apart. Here's another use of those backdrops. In this case, we're using one of the grid backdrops. And we're using the box tool, which is created by holding down the, the command key and dragging anywhere that's open in Conjure. That will create a box. Another thing you can do is option drag any object to create a duplicate of it. So let's say that we want to find out how many boxes we just drew here. Well, obviously there are eight. But you can stack them this way. You can stack them this way. This is just a neat visual way of representing this information. Here's another thing, though. Let's say that we just drew something really phenomenal, and we want to save it for our class. Well, we can go back to that page, and we could do one of several different things. Either we could copy it, and the best way to copy things in Conjure is to use the Copy Partial Screenshot tool, which allows you to grab everything, and then you just paste it wherever you want. Another way to save this would be to use the Export feature. We do Export to JPEG. You can select the area of the screen that you want to export and save it. Done. One of Contra's greatest strengths is that it lets you rearrange and display things visually in real time. And you don't have to do a lot of preparation. You can do a lot of this on the fly in Conjure. It's that easy. Using Conjure, it's easy to stay focused and stay on task. And that's one of the reasons why this is such a powerful tool for presentations. The thing you're seeing and the thing that you're interacting with right now is the thing you're doing. So we have a special offer for teachers and educators. Half off. That's right, half off our already extremely cheap price of $25. All you have to do is go to conjurebunny.com slash teachers.html for more info. If you have any questions or feedback, please visit us online at conjurebunny.com. Thank you.